Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Miles and Mile Man. Hope you're doing well. In today's video is going to be part two of the Ransom Ajax Mark IV uh, restoration. And uh, in the last video you would have seen that I've taken it all apart um, with some issues um, with taking my cogs off and what have you. But uh, we've got it apart anyway so hopefully if you're going to be doing one that's very similar that video will help you out. Today's video is going to be um, rattle canning most of the day. Um, sanding down, prepping and getting sorted. Um, so there will be some parts of the video that I won't show you, just the, some of the sand down process will be far too long winded. But um, hopefully uh, by the end of today, we'll have it all pretty much um, sprayed up and looking rather nice. But it's got a cure for two or three days before I put it all back together again, because the paint's got to go hard and the temperature is not brilliant. So I might put the heating on, shut the door and what have you, just to bring the temperature up slightly. Um, and then we'll go from there. So the paint I'm going to be using for the silver, I'm going to be using just a smooth hammerite um, silver paint. But first of all, I'm going to be um, covering that with a, an etch primer uh, because it's uh, excellent for adhesion uh, towards um, metal surfaces, including um, alleys and zincs and what have you. So I'll be using an etch primer. I've got two tins of that. Uh, mainly just for, for the, where the hammerite's going on because the other stuff I've got is good stuff. So I've got some Ransom's Green, uh, which part number is 05884 from Spaulding's. Um, if you look up Spaulding's um, spray paints and punch in the part number 05884, uh, that will lead you towards a Ransom Green colour. Now it does, it is very, very dark on here, but I know the Ransom Green is particularly light in colour. So I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping it's going to be the, the, the same it is, yeah, it is the same colour. So it's a, it's a nice, rich green uh, with the ransom green. So that's original. And then for the cylinder, I'm going to use um, a Van Post Office Red. So it's post Postman Pat Red uh, for the cylinder. Well, that will need priming and possibly some lacquering as well, um, is what it says on there. But it is a gloss finish. So I have had a little look um, at some different photographs and videos of some ransom Ajaxes and... Some have got the, the roll of silver, some have got them green and other bits and pieces, but from what I've actually seen from some original drawings is the roller is completely green, uh, inside and out. And looking at my roller, there is evidence of green paint on the, on the outside. So over the years, the green paint has come off. So I will be spraying my roller completely green. I think that is um, exactly original as it came out the shop. Um, but I have seen other people have sprayed their silver and what have you. So. It, the, the preference is yours. I have also still got the um, the original um, Ajax decal, or not original, but uh, a, a copy. So I've got one of those as well to, to go on the old grass box. So that would be really, really good. And the grass box is in, is in good condition. It's got a few bumps in it, but that's what it is. It doesn't need filling, in my opinion. I'm just going to sand it down, and I hit it with an under primer, and then I shall then hit it with a ransom green put the sticker on it, the decal, and then I should lacquer it in a 4K lacquer as well, and it really make that box pop. Um, and there's not many that I've seen the Ransom Ajax is up for sale at the moment um, with the, uh, the actual grass box for it. So they are a bit a bit tough to get hold of, but uh, I was quite lucky for mine, and I managed to find mine, so I was you know, sort of lucky for that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Ransom Ajax Mark IV um, spray can, rattle, and um, rubbing down video. That, that's what I'm going to be doing. So come along with me, um, and uh, we'll have a little go at that. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mo's and Mower Man, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's do part two of a Ransom Ajax Mark IV. Right, so this is where we left it yesterday. I did do a little tiny bit in the background um, yesterday. I started to um, paint strip this um, cylinder. It's got to be sanded down yet, so there's paint stripper on there. That's just got to be scraped off and uh, and finished and all sanded down. So that, that will then take, um, take a paint. Uh, the grass box I haven't yet sort of even started. The uh, roller I've put all back together as it should be um, because I, I want to spray that all, all as is. So that's had a light sand, uh, nothing, nothing too horrendous. So that's done. Uh, these have all been sanded down as well. Uh, that one there, and I've been doing these ones 
over the far side there. They've all been sanded down as well, ready for prepping. Um, also sanded down the uh, the uh, the bed knife, and uh, to be fair, that bed knife is as true as you like. As I'm not going to bother um, getting a new bed knife for that. The bed knife looks good. Uh, the handles also have had a bit of a sand down, and what have you. I have started to spray just a few bits and pieces. Yes, it had a few bits of um, spray paint left, but they want another coat anyway. So I have made a start. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is just going to continue um, sanding down. I might do these handles first, get them hung up in the shed, get those done, and then I shall move on to uh, some of the silver work. I don't want to be doing the silver work and then spraying the green afterwards. So I'll get these hung up and get some of them sprayed up, and I'll come back once I've done that. Okay, so the first lot's been done, that's now hanging. Uh, heating's on, and uh, I just had to ventilate the shed out of touch. Uh, we've done the back plate, that's all been a fresh coat of green, and the handles have all been now been done. So they're gonna sit there for the next two days anyway. Uh, I just shan't touch them. This is enamel paint, so it needs to go off quite hard. Um, and then I'll hit it with a lacquer later on. But uh, at the moment, they're just gonna be sat there. So we'll now move on to some of the, uh, the grayer stuff, and uh, all the back roller, one or the other, haven't decided yet. Right, so I've made a little start on the on the box. The rollers I've done, I've actually done the rollers in British Racing Green. I've got plenty of, of that left over. So I'm gonna give that a bottom coat of British Racing Green and come back and hit it with a Ransom Green later. So the rollers are over there drying. The actual grass box itself actually is not in bad condition. It's all true and complete. There's no splits in it or anything like that. Um, so I think literally just it's gonna be just a quick sand down and then uh, I should hit it with some under primer rust treatment and then um, I'll give it a bit of a bit of an undercoat. So let me get it sanded off and I'll be back to you once I've done that. Right, so the rollers are done, uh, as in first, just the first coat. I did them in British Racing Green and I'm gonna come back and um, finish them off in the, in the Ransom Green in a little while. I've sanded down the uh, grass box, um, that's all been sanded down under what have you, and now that's got um, first coat of edge primer put on that, which just allows the paint just to stick to the metal a bit better. So that's all been done inside and out and underneath and all, all that sort of yummy stuff. So that's just gonna be uh, let dry for a bit. Once that's dry, I'll just get another coat of edge primer, and then we'll move on to getting this first coat of uh, ransom green. I always like to do the grass box because it, uh, for me, this, the grass box finishes the lawnmower. Uh, if you get the grass box looking nice, um, it makes the rest of the mower stand out and pop. So that's where we are at the moment. The other bits are still hanging up here dry. They've been there for about an hour and a half so far. Uh, but they've been nowhere near dry yet, but uh, they'll get another coat as well. Uh, and then I should give a coat to those rollers and then we'll move on to the next step. Right, so second coat on the grass box. That's now looking a bit better now. That old etch primer does get rid of a few imperfections without a doubt, it's good stuff. Um, all the silver work for the um, the chassis, all been done. I've got that little tiny bar just there, that's gonna be painted green, so that'll be done last. Um, back bed knife cut has been done, that's been sprayed, and also the, uh, the Ransom Marquis sign. There you go, that's all been done, that looks lovely as well. Uh, height adjustment bars have now been done as well. So everything is hanging. So it's like one big mobile wind chime in here. <coughs> um, the only thing that hasn't had anything done to it yet is a cylinder, which is down yonder, and the rollers, but they'll be done at a later date. Um, so this now will be packed up, finished and done with for the day. I'll come back to you a bit later on uh, tomorrow, but it'll be five seconds for you guys. And uh, I'll have those, those rollers sprayed up <coughs> in um, Ransom Green, not the British Racing, but I thought I'd just give them a quick coat of a British Racing Green because I'm gonna need nearly a whole can uh, on this grass box here to make this stand out and pop as I want it to. So um, I wanna make sure I've got plenty of paint left and the paint's not cheap. Uh, this Spalding's um, paint, where is it? Uh, down here somewhere. This Spalding's paint, Although it's quite cheap to buy, you can actually buy it near Martin Butler's place. That's where, that's where it is, up there. Um, but they want about 15, 17 pounds shipping just for that. So, <clears throat> so you know, that, that, that's expensive, right? So what we do now is I'm gonna lock the shed down, uh, leave all electrics on and leave the radiator on. Uh, let the heat build up in here, let, let this paint cook and um, go off. And then tomorrow I'll come back in 
and uh, we're kind of doing a bit more. So hopefully this little Ransom Ajax should look a little bit more presentable by tomorrow. I'll get a bit more painting done and then it'll be the next couple of days before I even consider putting it back together uh, because I want to make sure that all the, uh, the paint's completely cured before we reassemble because I don't want to be knocking it and, and ruin all my hard work. So check us back in two seconds and uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, we're back. Um, so all of this lot now, I've left the heating on. It's nice and warm in here. Um, all this all this green is now dry, ready for its next coat. Got to do the, the rollers, got to do them today. And uh, all this other stuff is all now nice and dry, as it should be, which is good. So today I'm gonna to attack the, uh, the grass box first, do that in the green, and then I'll get that done, I'll show what that looks like. And um, as far as I'm concerned, if you've got one of these little tiny push mowers, if you ain't got a grass box, then they're still worth good money, but I've seen them go for like £400, and I don't think I'm gonna get that for mine, but they go for good money if you can find the right seller. Once we've done that, I can then move on to the silver work, but uh, to begin with, I'm gonna get on and just do this, um, this grass box. Uh, once that's done, I'll come back and show you how that looks. Right, so we're now starting to win. I've given the rollers the first coat of Ransom Green. Uh, they look really, really good. I've got a feeling the green on the outside of the roller is just going to come off over time. So, but that's just a thing. Um, had it been powder coated, it would have been a bit different, I suppose. But uh, I don't have powder coating facilities. But that's good. Um, uh, bottom blade's been done. That's all now finished off. Uh, the grass box has had its first coat of, uh, of green. Literally just a tack coat, just to try and make it adhese to uh, where I want it to, to stick. So that looks good. Also that green bar in the center, just um, give that a quick little green as well. Um, so I'll be doing the, the next green on this one here. And then I think that, that I called it for, for the day. Um, Cause I want to turn these rollers over and give those a green on the other side, but I'm not even gonna attempt to touch them until tomorrow until that's gone dry. Uh, Cause that'd just be, um, that'd just be silly. Right, um, Ransom grass box now, uh, all done, and um, just had its final top coat of, uh, of uh, not lacquer, of Ransom green. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Now, a good thing about this enamel paint, because it goes on really, really thick, you build the layers up, it's had about three coats. Build it up really, really thick, um, and it hides all the old, the old little nasty nicks and dinks and brings it up to a really good quality, you know? Um, obviously it looks a bit better because I've got a white light thrown on it as well. But uh, it'll look even better when it's outside and had a good coat of uh, 4K lacquer as well. Now what I intend to do is I'll give this a quick coat of lacquer just before it goes off tacky, okay? Um, and then let it go hard and then tomorrow, with, because it's got the 4K lacquer already on it, I can then put the sticker on it and hit it again with 4K lacquer so that the sticker is actually protected by the lacquer as well. But if you don't put the lacquer on this just before it goes tacky, then you tend to, can't, you can have problems with it. It can, it can tend to react is what I'm trying to say. So get rid of your 4K lacquer. Um, and just before it goes tacky, that's when you hit it with it. Um, and then it, it will go really, really hard and what have you overnight and uh, it'll look lovely and then it'll be ready for its, uh, for its transfer, which I shall show you when I put that on. So that's that bit done. Uh, no changes over here, just still waiting for the rollers to dry out before I can turn them over to do that. I don't want to scratch them. I've got a sneaky feeling I'll be coming back to them uh, to do the outside. But we'll see how we get on, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's all a bit of fun. So we get them done. I've got the silvers to do tomorrow. They're up there drying and what have you, just going hard with the etch primer on them. And in fact, I've got to move out a bolts move. Let's see what I'm going to do that here. Um, I'll do that and then um, I'll come back to you tomorrow. Okie dokie, a bit more further work done. Um, the grass box has now had um, two coats of petrol resistant lacquer, which I'm well happy. Look at that, look, look at how that pops. Um, I have got one very small reaction. Just, I won't touch it, just there. Um, I might just have to wait for that tomorrow just to go, go dry and try and knock that back a touch. And also out here, cylinder is out drying in the sun. Just had its uh, second coat of uh, primer. So that's all good. So the cylinder now can have a bit of red doing to it. So yeah, a bit more done. Um, and I was debating over the, uh, the hammerite what to do because I have bought, uh, let me show you, I have bought this 
which is a Hammerite Smooth uh, brush on paint one. And I'm thinking I might go and buy the spray on one. So it might just apply better rather than mucking about with a with a spray uh, with it with a brush. So I might go and do that tomorrow. A bit more expense, but it's, it's what it is. Handles are all done and just now waiting to do those rollers still, they're still not quite dry yet, still mucking about with it. So um, I want them to be absolutely bone dry before I turn them over. So once that's done, uh, tomorrow is going to be um, spraying the silver work, uh, get all the green out of the way and then spray the silver work and try and put the transfer onto the box. Once I've knocked that little tiny bit back and uh, a bit more green and then a bit more lacquer, just build it up again. Hopefully we, we can repair it. If not, there's a high possibility actually the transfer might go over it. Now, I know what you're thinking, shouldn't, shouldn't hide it, but it's a lawnmower, right? Um, so we might be able to do that, we'll see how we get on. So a bit more work to do, and tomorrow is another day where we should continue. So see you tomorrow. Okie dokie, um, where are we at? I can't touch and roll, I've just given another quick little coat. Uh, but I wanna turn them over, but that is gonna have to be tomorrow. Um, I don't wanna risk it for a biscuit, but literally, um, are taking longer to drive and all the other stuff. I don't know why, but it is. So this side here, these are all done. My hands are covered in paint. That's waiting to go. Um, that's done. Grass box has been done. And what I did was um, I literally just went back over it again with that ransom green um, stuff because it had gone off. Where'd it go? It was underneath here. Yeah, just underneath here somewhere, which I've now um, since managed to just cover it again so it will need re lacquering but but that's done uh what else we've done okay cylinder cylinders done two coats on that that's just got to dry off it's a beautiful afternoon so we'll just let the sun do its business so cylinders done and all the silver bracketry work um in the end i went and got some amorite smooth so that's done we've got a green rod there as well which um, has been greened and here's all the other silver bits and pieces as well now all hanging up uh, drying in the beautiful sunshine and look, look at that sign let me turn around that way a bit look at that beautiful sign isn't that lovely in that lush it's come up really really well really really like it um so we went for the amorite smooth in the end just seems to do do a much better job so riley boy's due in about two or three minutes so i'll go indoors go and wait for him and i'm gonna let this lot um naturally dry in the sunlight for about an hour and a half the sun has just gone around the yard arm so we're good to go. So pretty much, I'm happy. Uh, that's video number two on this um, Ransom Ajax restore. I, I call it a restore, but um, you know, it's, it's sort of like a, a, little mini, a little mini project for me just to tidy stuff up. So it's not a full restore. Um, I would like to get into a powder coat inside of it, but I don't have the, the facilities as of yet. And uh, I know that Neil from Fix It and Scrap It is doing it, or Strip It is doing it. Uh, but I like to do it on a slightly bigger scale, something similar to Martin. I like to have a nice big oven that I could put a decent deck in or a decent sized grass box. So there's no point in me having just a small oven. It's no good to me. I need to have something quite substantial. So I may have to wait till I get a bigger, bigger workshop or uh, my, when my vintage shed is uh, sort of empty, I might change it into a powder coat and spray room. We should wait and see, but uh, you know, that, that's future stuff for, for the channel anyway. Anyway, that's this little video done. Part two, Ransom Ajax uh, Mark IV. All painted, sprayed up inside two days. And um, now what I've got to do is wait for tomorrow. This, this lot will go off. I'm going to leave the heating on overnight, uh, the little radius, so it's nice and warm in here. And uh, hopefully that will all go off, and by tomorrow it'll be good as gold, and then we can then fit um, my Ransom Ajax um, transfer sticker on. I have to pop back down to my old shop and go and get some 2K lacquer just to finish, just to finish the, um, the grass box off, so I want to lacquer that. Um, some more 2k lacquer in total so far it's cost me about 40 quid in paint something like that give or take uh, which is not too bad considering the mower only cost me about a tenner something like that so uh, still plenty of room in there for a, bit, a little bit of profit uh, if it sells quite well next year we should see but by tomorrow um, this will all be done and hopefully we can start to um, put it back together if not I have to wait till the weekend and this paint's got to be rock hard before I even touch it and put it back together so we shall see so if you like this episode of Mixed Mows and Mower Man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell. Send notifications to all. That way you'll be told one's on a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30pm um, UK time. So I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mows very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.